Welcome in to Davis High Basketball on KSL Sports Rewind. We've got the final day of the Northern Utah Shootout. Coming to you live from Davis High School as the Davis Darts prepare to take on the Olympus Titans. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. We've got uh, two fantastic programs going head-to-head -to -head today. We start with the defending 5A state champion and visiting Olympus Titans 4-1 on the season. The Titans lost the opener to American Fork. Since then, they've been doing what Olympus does, and that's winning, a lot of winning. They're coming off a solid victory over a really good Skyview team. I know they're 4A, but that Skyview team is loaded. I was talking with the Olympus staff. They said that team is so good. It was a 68-62 victory for Olympus, and it was Dutch Dowdell. The youngster will say his name a lot tonight. The junior 6'5 guard scored 29 points in that contest, 4 of 9 from beyond the arc. For Jordy Barnes had 12, Zach Albert had 11, and Gavin Lowe, the freshman, had 12. The staff has been super impressed with Gavin Lowe, the freshman, and his contribution early on this season. Can't wait to get our first look at him. But you talk about the Davis starts. They've been hosting this tournament, coming off a victory last night over Bountiful. That was a game that Davis got off to a hot start. Bountiful came back, tied it up. It was back and forth, but in the fourth quarter, Davis able to pull away, and it was Colby Wicker, number two, the senior, ended up with 15 points in that contest. Uh, five of six from the floor was extremely pivotal early for Davis as this Davis group continues to just find new pieces as it's coming together for Coach Sims here. So much talent graduating off that group last year and trying to kind of find their leaders find their go-to players as uh, Wicker, the latest, have a standout game. Caden Eggett, 16 and 7 on the year. Zach Fisher, 12 and 8. Zach hit a couple threes last night for the darts in the win. As look, this team, it's got good balance to it. As Davis in the home whites, Olympus in the uh, road greens. We'll redo this here, but should be a fantastic battle and a great measuring stick for both these two programs. Olympus returning so much talent from that state championship squad, obviously without Jack Wistersill, which is a big piece to try to replace. But a lot of their shooting coming back. And Olympus controlling that opening tip. And this is Dutch Dowdell, or it was, up top now with Jordy Barnes. Dutch with it again. Now we'll work to the, sig the center, Joe Johnson. That ball turned over. Davis with the steal. Here's Eggett out on the break in the first points of the game. Going to the darts in Caden Eggett. Barnes trying to work through traffic and an early foul here going to be called. Contact there in the middle of the floor. His first team foul on Davis. First one here on Colby Wicker. Wicker and Eggett both had to deal with fouls in the game last night. And missed significant minutes in the second half as they both picked up four early and midway through the third. And Zach Albert had it there as it works around to Barnes. Coming up around the screen was Madsen. Barnes playing away from it. Baseline triple team kicks out here to Dowdell. Dutch looking inside for Johnson. Tipped away. Eggett able to front it and get the deflection as we come up the floor here with the darts. Been such a good matchup, these two, over the years. Not uncommon to see them playing non-region as Barnes coming up with a steal. Jordy on the run, and Jordy with a finish, two apiece. Defense leading the offense for both sides here in the early going of our first half. Here's Wicker. He'll take the three. Colby just short. It was on line as Barnes finds the rebound and looking for the early outlet ahead with Albert and too strong in front of him. Out of bounds. It'll go back to Davis. Olympus employing a little bit of pressure here. Want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we'll start it early, stop it late, that sort of a thing. We're starting it late here. We were a little ahead of the official game clock, but you'll see us true it up just like that as the contest goes on. Sent over here to Fisher. That was Alex. Back to Zach. He'll try the three. Feeling confident from last night. That rattled out. And Barnes able to push it up the floor here with Olympus. 
Barnes in the corner, double team there, and tried to play that out off of Davis. But it will go to the darts, and Jordy was looking for clarification there. I'm not quite certain what uh, what the call there was. I thought it was a good play by Jordy. And Barnes asking for clarification here from the official as well as Olympus with another steal. This one being forced by Albert. Barnes from the corner. Uh, just off the front of the rim and a dual possession here tied up. The arrow will give it back to Olympus, or to Davis. Oh, pressure. Dowdell, little three, yes. And they say that was just a two, my apologies. Oh, there we go, 5-2. I thought it was a three. They put four on the scoreboard here. 5-2, Olympus. Fisher, Davis working this around. Here's Zach. Good defense there on the baseline drive by Madsen. A little pump fake there by Atwater. Coleman will pull up here from 17, short. Rebound gathered by Dowdell. The Titans coming up the floor again. Jordy, uh, and you see the little push there. Fisher trying to get back, and as he collapsed down into the body there of Jordan Barnes, second team foul here on Davis. And the foul here is. Joe Johnson was trying to work his way to the rim. Contact there. Going to be called here on Eggett. Be his first personal. The third team foul on the darts. That shot wouldn't go. And Alex pushing it up here for Davis in the paint. Wanted the outlet to the corner to Atwater. That deflected out by David or by Olympus. Man, we'll get our team straight. I appreciate your patience with this is substitution here. We will see the freshman Gavin Lowe coming on the floor here for the Titans as Joe Johnson will come off. Here's Atwater. Wicker looking inside, and that one broken up. Was trying to get it to Eggett. Olympus defensively been stout here early. Just the two off the fast break. All they've given up low. Able to skip that across. Good defense there by Fisher taking away the driving lane. They'll pop out to Albert for three. Zach hitting a three, and it's 8-2 Titans. One of the things Coach Barnes said in the preseason was we might be back to a lot of perimeter shots and trying to use our speed and athleticism without the likings of a Jack Wistersill. And you see the contribution there is good drive inside, won't go. Loose ball on the floor, bodies on the floor. And we'll get a timeout taken by Davis to keep the possession. Timeout darts, we'll step aside, take it with them. You're watching Davis basketball on kslsports.com. Welcome back here to Davis High School. KSL Sports Rewinds brought to you by Heidemann & Associates. If you have any legal needs, call the experts at Heidemann & Associates. Be it business, personal litigation, will, whatever you might need, they will take care of you. And they'll even talk about your favorite high school team with you for a free consultation. Just tell them Rewind sent you when you call 801-754-4240. Davis Basketball. Had a couple good looks, haven't been able to get much to fall. Just the fast break opportunity. To take a 2-0 lead as Atwater trying to get a three to go. And that's off the front of the rim and across. One and done here for Davis. That's been a constant theme here in this first quarter. Oh yeah, there's gonna be the double dribble. Good close out there by Davis to force the hesitation and the turnover.
Boy, look at the pressure there by Lowe. And Jordy able to step in that passing lane. Barnes coming ahead. Left-handed finish at the rim. Now it's Barnes with a little bit of defense trying to rush Ike Morgan. Morgan able to get past it. Morgan looking to the rim. Contact here in the paint. We'll send Ike Morgan to the line as... You saw Harper Madsen come over to help. He's going to be called here with the contact. First team foul on Olympus here in this first half. 2.47 to go in the first quarter. And Davis to the line here for two. The first for Ike. One more here for the 5'10 junior. Jordan looking inside. Three from Dowdell. Boy, Davis tries to get help defensively, and they leave one of the best three point shooters in the state, and Dowdell makes them pay for it. The lead up to nine as Fisher here the drive fouled on the attempt. And Zach Fisher will get free throws. 6'6 six, six, junior. As the first one here for Zach. Good. I'm really excited for this young man. A 6'6 six, six junior. Third time seeing him. Flashed a little outside game last night for the darts as goes one of two at the line. But the size and the athleticism, if he can really hone in on that jumper, he's got a, a good future ahead of him. Little zone here by Davis. Barnes will step around. Low the drive, look at baseline. Sent over for Dowdell. Good collapse there by Atwater. Barnes left open from range. Jordy Barnes. Well, the three ball falling here early for Olympus. As Davis working around the perimeter. Sent out. Fisher for three. Won't go. Skipped over. Drive from low. And it is all Olympus here early. Nice response. Boy, Davis needed that. Cut through the middle, Dowdell once again. This time a little inside game as it's 20 to 8. Taken away once again. And it's Albert. I wanted to say low, and I was like, nope, not him. It's three, Zach Albert, and the lead is 22-8 here for Davis or for Olympus. Atwater. Fisher for three, yes. There is the length of Zach Fisher from the edge as our clock down to five seconds left. Final possession of this first quarter. Barnes working off the screen straight away. Didn't pull it, and that will do it. First quarter expires 22-11. Olympus leading Davis. You're watching Davis High Basketball on kslsports.com. My apologies, we uh, we had a foul with half a second left. So it says second, we're gonna play out the final half second here. Atwater picking up, well it said Atwater, but Egg gets on the scoreboard. Is that lob in, defended, and now we will head to our quarter break. So 22-11, end of the first. 
We'll step aside, have a second quarter after this. Welcome back. Getting ready to start the second quarter. 22-11, Olympus out in front of Davis. Dowdell and Barnes each with threes in that first half. Zach Albert as well as the long ball that we've come to love from Coach Matt Barnes and his offense here. Creating uh, scoring challenges to keep pace with. This is a group that you look at uh, their game yesterday against Skyview. They trailed in that one. Skyview led, I think, 15-2 at one point is inside, and Olympus gets another bucket. And that's where, I mean, when you get the long ball going and the inside opens up, it just can become so difficult to stop. And when that shot falls early and you're having to make early defensive adjustments. It's uh, you're, it kind of feels like you're chasing a little bit the rest of the game. We'll see what Coach Sims can do to try to wrangle this back within reach. Still a lot of time left on the clock as Morgan will work to egg it around here for Fisher. Zach trying to drive and came up off the front of the rim, rebounded by Olympus and wrestled the way by Madsen and the Titans pushing it again here with Jordan Barnes has the trailer with him and lost it is Colby Wicker able to get the possession back here for the darts Colby and and through the double team and fouled Olympus won the offensive foul I don't think coach Barnes is going to like the outcome it's going to be Dutch picking up the foul his second and the fourth team foul now on Olympus First free throw off the back of the rim. Tough first half shooting the rock here for the darts. Second attempt, that one better. Look at how quickly Olympus coming up the floor and an offensive foul here gonna be called on low. Well, the freshman trying to uh, get up the floor and take advantage of a fast break ends up committing his second personal and the fifth team foul on Olympus. Morgan working through the pressure there of Weston Olsen. Ah, good defense there by Lowe. Made himself really wide, preventing that entry into the post. Morgan works back here to Wicker. Colby. Up top now with Eggett. That paint empty here for the darts. Eggett gonna try to attack. Working on Madsen, tough shot, but Fisher there for the offensive board and put back. Boy, love crashing the boards there by the big man, Zach Fisher. 10 point difference, Barnes. Skipped across here with Olsen. Jordy here trying to drive, and Morgan got beat. You can kind of see that, the quickness there of Jordy. And Morgan just kind of had to stretch that arm and try to hold him up. His first personal fifth team foul now on Davis. Back to Jordan. Good recovery by this Davis defense. Moved over, three from Madsen, back of the rim. Fisher with the board. Zach, one on three here for the darts. He'll slow it up, allow reinforcements to come. Zach will step into the three. Zach Fisher from long range. 6-0 burst here from Davis. Olsen over with Barnes. Jordan looking inside. Great backdoor screen. I think it was Dowdell that set it and allowed Madsen to get the open look from close range. Morgan, boy, they're really making Davis work, bringing the ball up. They'll give it to Zach. Another three for Fisher. And a timeout by Davis. Hey, 
the darts have come all the way. Well, sorry, I had that wrong on the scoreboard there. We'll get that trued up. 26-20, the advantage. It's back to a two-possession game. Timeout. We'll step aside and be back. Welcome back. 26-20. I had added the uh, Harper Madsen field goal to Davis, so we got that all fixed for you. Two-possession ball game. As the largest deficit in this game for Davis was 12. They've cut it in half. And Olympus will have it. Barnes here being pressured by Wicker. Here's Matson high post, leaving that. Dowdell, three. Man, I mean, even there, like, there's a hand in the face. It just doesn't much matter when it's Dutch. Fisher to answer. That won't go. That was from Alex. Oh, boy, good hands there by Morgan. He'll work out. Wicker will try the three. That one's strong. And Barnes able to gather it. Backdoor cut by Dowdell and one. Boy, we talk about you have to respect the outside game. He gives that little move like he's breaking to the corner. Instead goes baseline. And Ike Morgan trying to recover. And just a crafty move by Dutch Dowdell. 6'5", junior. You, well, you want to talk about people that have opportunities. I mean, Dutch, my goodness, got the length, got the clear shooting ability, athleticism, and love that he doesn't just live on the outside. He'll go inside as well and really beat you at all levels as it's back to a 12-point difference here. Quick 6-0 burst from Dutch Dowdell and the Olympus Titans. Here's Zach. Zach gives a little look. Zach to the rim. Jordan sends across. Offensive. The Olympus bench, I don't think they love that one. That one was set up to uh, give the look of a charge. and It was quick movement there by Alex Fisher. That's one where it's like, I think Fisher's there, but boy, it's almost an impossible situation for Olsen. That's a, that's a heck of a play. Zach again inside. Zach Fisher right now is having himself an afternoon. I was talking with uh, Davis supporter before the game and said, you know, this roster feels like every night it's someone different. And he said, yeah, it's it's been great to see kind of the different players step up in different contests. And today it's been Zach Fisher. His boy, tough drive there with contact. And Davis coming up with a board. And Zach able to get the clear. And Coach Barnes right now doing a little politicking with the officials. As there was certainly contact there, but the officials haven't played through. Alex working back up. Wicker, he'll take the three. Colby Wicker! And it's a five-point ball game. Couple screens there. Jordan coming back with Dutch. Fisher trying to defend Dowdell. Setting up that drive and Dutch Dowdell doing it again. Through the lane and one. Dutch will head to the line. Lowe preparing to come back on the floor here for Olympus. As Weston Olsen will come to the bench for the Titans. As Dowdell pure on the free throw. And it feels like, it feels like a lot of his shots tonight have been nothing but net. I, I know that probably hasn't been the case, but man, he's been he's been sharp. Oh, 
Looking inside for Zach Fisher. That one knocked away. It'll stay here. Born Olympus, including Barnes, thought that he had knocked that off the thigh of Fisher, but the officials there saying it will stay with the darts. Into the corner, Wicker. Agate. Bodies to the floor here, and now we're going to have a foul called. And that being the uh, 17th foul, we'll walk down and shoot. Excuse me, 8th team foul on Davis. We'll walk down and have one-on-one -on -one here for Zach Albert. Coach Barnes was continuing to advocate for whistles. He thought should have been a charge on this end. And his statement to the officials was, you've called three charges on me. As one and one, free throw missed. Ninety seconds left here in our first half. Eight point contest. Here's Atwater back with Eggett. Zach Fisher working over to Alex. Alex spinning, traveling violation. That bucket will not count. That one regathered by Madsen. Inside of a minute to go. Low kicks out. Barnes being hounded defensively by Wicker, doing a real nice job. Barnes trying to step through, left it short, tapped out by Dowdell, kept by Barnes. Drive. Zach Albert able to find his way through the paint. Ten-point difference. 30 seconds to go. Shot clocks have not been installed here at Davis. So we'll not have risk of a shot clock violation here. Davis could hold for the final possession. Inside of 10 to go here in the half. Wicker driving. Wicker looking out. Finds Atwater. Clock down to three. Coleman pull up from 10. Gets the roll. And Davis gets the final bucket. 37 29, the advantage for the Titans at the break. You're watching Davis High Basketball on kslsports.com. Welcome back to Davis High School, Northern Utah Shootout. Well, let's just put it this way. When your worst shooting performance of a half is three of five from the floor, that means you're going to have a pretty good night. And that's been the day for Olympus. How about 15 of 21 from the floor for the Titans? 71% shooting. They were five of eight from beyond the arc. Uh, look, it's it's hard to keep pace when a team is going to shoot over 70%. Davis done a great job. We talked about the first half for Zach Fisher. 16 points for him, 3 of 5 from beyond the arc. 6 of 9 from the floor, 1 of 2 at the line. Dutch Dowdell has been your contest leading scorer. Has 17 points, 3 of 3 from beyond the arc, 6 of 7 from the line or from the floor. And uh, the rebounding has been relatively even, 10-8 to eight in favor of the Titans. want to thank the Pettengills for all their help getting us rosters and stats and keeping us up to date. They do such a great job, and we couldn't do it without them. want to thank the Pettengills for their assistance here at Davis High School. Start of the second half, it'll be Davis High basketball trailing 37-29. It really wasn't a bad first half for the Darts. Shot 48% from the floor, 46% from beyond the arc. But really, the defense is going to be the area where I think Chad Sims is hoping that his def that his team can start to ratchet down this Olympus squad to help them get back in it. This is Zach Fisher talking about his electric first half for the darts. 
And we'll see if he continues to carry the load. Wicker had a nice first half. He's got it right now. Had seven points that one. Last touch by Olympus. The Titans thought there was a traveling. But the officials did not. And talk about the combination of Zach and Colby. 23 of the 29 points from that duo. Eggett, they would love to get him going, and I love going at or going to Eggett and to try, try to find that rhythm. Talk about his averages 16 and 7 coming into this one. Had a game of over 30 in the opener to this Northern Utah shootout. Is Olympus going inside on the other end? This tapped up. Eggett has it. And there's a travel. A little back door picked off by Eggett. That play beat Davis a couple times in that first half. At D, much more in tune with it there. Morgan sends out Eggett straight away. At three off the mark, rebounded by Barnes, and a foul here going to be called on the loose ball. And that will be called on Wicker. Second personal foul on Colby. First Davis team foul of this second half. For those interested, the Motherland coming out to start their second half against Le Bleu, trailing 1-0. We're sitting at the track here at Davis, and you can peer down onto a lot of uh, the crowd. There's, there's a lot of people watching that game. I don't blame them. We've had a good one here as well. Here's Dowdell. Hard closeout. They'll force a long two here from Dutch. That's short and gives Ike Morgan a bit of a head start here on the run out for Davis. Long three from Wicker. Dialed in. And here come the darts. It's down to three. The closest has been since the early moments as a quick foul given here by Morgan as he was trying to come over to contest. It was a 12-point lead a couple of times for Olympus. The largest officially was 14. I think that was at 24 to 10. And that one broken up by Fisher. Zach with it. Oh, and you saw Barnes get back. Knew he couldn't concede the two there. It'll be Davis basketball. Davis with a chance to tie it. Morgan had it knocked away, able to resecure it. Dowdell coming out to defend Ike. Here's Zach, now Wicker. Eggett trying to get himself positioned in the block, going at Johnson. Yes, Cade and Eggett. They've been very intentional with Eggett in this second half, and he pulls Davis back to within one. Albert. Low preparing to come on the floor for Olympus at the next whistle. Barnes continuing to try to work these officials inside to Johnson and the big man gets what I think is his first bucket of the night. Indeed. Three, Waker left alone. The screen, Wicker able to hit the three as he was left. That three, no good. Tracked down by Albert to keep it here with Olympus. Approaching the midway point here in our third quarter. Here's Barnes. Jordy going to take the three. He was given space. Splash for Jordy. Wicker. Thought he might try to take that instead. Works inside here. Zach Boy hard close. That one knocked away. Good defense by Dowdell. And now Barnes trying to deal with a triple team. Contact in the backcourt. The Davis bench doesn't like that. It'll be the third team foul, and this will go on Zach. I think it'll be his third. Yeah. 
Johnson going to come off the floor here for Olympus. As indeed the freshman low checking in. Barnes looking in low left alone. We'll send out. As Davis able to collapse down, regain their position defensively. Barnes drive, works it over. Good decision there by Jordan Barnes as Zach Albert on the backside able to get the finish. They'll come back inside, and Albert coming over, going to pick up the foul here. We talked about they've been intentional with Eggett, trying to get him the ball in the block. Zach was trying to come over to force the double. And whistled here on the contact. First team foul for Olympus. Oh, how about Morgan going off the back of Barnes? Ike in traffic, and yeah, traveling violation. Davis fans thought that that would be an and one. It is waved off the traveling violation before the contact and the foul. And so that bucket will not count. Boy, the whole Davis section all stood, thought they had a big and one. They do not. Three. Another three for Olympus, a Titan triple. They've been deadly tonight, this one from Harper Madsen. The lead pushed back to eight after Davis had come back and tied it up. Here's Eggett inside, Caden. Little power step there for Caden Eggett. Able to work through the defense, and now Barnes has that knocked out. Last touch by Davis, it'll stay here. Coleman Atwater gonna come on the floor here for the darts as Ike Morgan will catch a break. Ike Morgan, 5'10 junior, did their first game against Bonneville, then last night and tonight. More minutes for Ike these last two days than in that opener. And you can see the trust that he's gaining here from this Davis staff. He's been pretty good tonight with the ball handling and the defense. Low here trying to deal with the pressure. Oh, great backdoor cut. All the way from that three-point line. Coming in was Harper Madsen. Able to find him. Nice finish at the rim. Licker working around the Eggett screen. Here's Zach. Zach looking to drive against Dowdell. Little right-handed finish for Zach Fisher and won the foul there by Dutch. Opportunity for a three-point play here for Zach Fisher. And he converts. 19 now for Zach as we're inside of two minutes to go here in this third quarter. Low. Trying to drive. Boy, low. How about that confidence for the freshman? Was able to get Zach to kind of overcommit on that drive. And Zach, the hard closeout there, but the youngster, low, able to shoot over it off the window for the pretty touch. Atwater here in the corner, in the paint, tough fade away for Coleman, short, and Barnes with the rebound. Straight away, pump fake by Madsen, down the lane, and one. Substitution here for Olympus. Weston Olsen will come on. The recognition by the 6'5 forward, Harper Madsen. To attack with the paint open, and he rattles in the free throw. The lead back to 10. 110 left. We're just letting the clock catch up here. Atwater, 
Trying to attack here. Blocked by Lowe. Wow. How about the freshman? Barnes tripped up. And the foul here called on Atwater. Fifth team foul on Davis. Second on Coleman. Barnes lobbing in and short there from Madsen. Tough drive and foul. Colby Wicker being aggressive here is Harper Madsen going to pick up the foul. And it's called on the shot. So it will be two free throws here for Colby Wicker. Wasn't quite certain if that was going to be on the floor or on the shot. It is deemed to be on the shot. Third team foul on Olympus. And the motherland has tied it up. England, France won a piece in the second half. Two for two, meanwhile. Final 30 seconds here of this third quarter. Then an even third. Davis had clawed back to tie it up. Nice response by the Titans. It's been a 15 to 7 run since that point. 10 seconds left here in the quarter. Barnes works out three from Albert. Too strong. And that hit the support. So it will go to Davis. Three seconds left here. Wicker will get a good look. Oh, just off the front of the rim. 54-46, Olympus leading Davis. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter here at Davis High School. Olympus led by 14. Davis tied it up in the third. Eight-point difference here as we start the fourth quarter. Olympus has been shooting the ball extremely well. He may have cooled off just a touch in that third, but still well above average. Helping to pace the way. It's Davis defense. They're trying to stay with a lot of the action. There's a piece that got lost just for a moment. Madsen took the three, missed it. Fisher with the board. Zach here. Leaving that, Morgan in the paint, worked around, Fisher from the corner. Off the mark and rebounded there by Olympus. That's a great job as Albert comes down, that hand on the floor, he can't move it. Able to get the pass away, Barnes the other way, might have been deflected there by Zach. As Davis now pushing it up the floor, here is Fisher trying to spin inside. No, Atwater, he'll take the three, that was deflected on the closeout by Lowe inside, and Eggett fouled. Foul called on Albert, his second. Two free throws. The first one missed. One more here for Caden. Goes one of two. Fisher here. Called for his fourth. And so the leading score of the game for Davis is going to have to come off the floor here.
Low. Gave it to Madsen. Now Dowdell. And Dowdell. Their foul be on the arc by Atwater. The sophomore trying to take on Dutch. And Dutch so crafty. Finds his way to the line. Is that the seventh team foul? Olympus will be shooting the rest of the way. This is one and one here for Dutch. Oh, rare miss. Wicker finds himself. Near the baseline able to throw out. Where does Davis go for offense? Agate trying to establish himself in the block. He's got a release. Now here's Caden. Top of the key. Try to roll off that screen. Drive here from Wicker. Tough shot. Won't get the friendly roll. And the rebound gathered there by Harper Madsen. Madsen trying to drive. Now Lowe will send out Dowdell for three. Might be his first miss from three tonight. Morgan looking to attack. Nice little setup there by Ike. Wanted to outlet it. Contact there prevented it and called. And Zach Fisher going to come back on the floor here. Has four, 5.45 to go here as Coleman Atwater will come off. Wicker. Wicker around a couple baseline screens there. Trying to drive. Yes. Colby Wicker. Big bucket for Davis. Is back to within five. Barnes. Tough drive. And one for Jordan Barnes. My goodness. Boy, I've been so impressed tonight with how Olympus has been able to just set up some of those driving lanes, the quick movement, the shiftiness. As the foul called here on Eggett, that's the third on Caden. As Atwater will come on here, five plus minutes remaining. One free throw for Barnes. Jordy pushes the lead back up to eight. Morgan trying to deal with Barnes. Barnes trying to get the steal. We got a dual possession here. Uh, defense of Jordan Barnes. He hits the and one. And playing out on the defensive end as well here. Able to tie up Morgan. Arrow will keep it here. As Morgan will come back on the floor here for Davis. Wicker, he's been strong tonight. And he hits the three. Colby Wicker. Talk about it was he and Fisher in the first half. Colby's carried a big piece of load in the second half. The freshman for three. No. Batted out. Kept here by Barnes. That was a good look for Lowe. Barnes kind of gets caught. And contact there will send Jordan Barnes back to the line. Foul called here on Colby. His third foul. The ninth team foul. This was on the shot. Coach Sims here going to take a timeout. Four and a half to go. You're watching Davis basketball in the north. Welcome back. Barnes to the line here to shoot two. First one rattled in.
Barnes trying to help this Titans close out the darts. That one won't go. Tapped up, and Davis has the rebound. Six-point contest. Wicker, high post, driving on low. Colby Wicker has done it outside, now inside. Recognized, had an opportunity to work on the youngster. Able to attack him. Madsen looking for help. Atwater defending Dowdell. Low again. Boy, kind of lost his bearing there. And we'll get a dual possession. Good defensive effort there by Wicker as the arrow will keep it here. Albert back on the floor here for the Titans. Thrown in for low, kept in. Long three for Jordan. Missed it. And it will go to Davis. Boy, that's a look. We've seen Jordan hit him from that range. And it was on line. Just short. You do have the air conditioning vent just right behind I felt a little chill. Four point contest can get back to one possession here. That one tipped by Dowdell. Wicker able to get it back, maintains it here for the darts. Fisher going to work. Drive against Barnes, fouled. Barnes thought that was pretty clean, but the official there, Colin. For the contact, the sixth team foul on Olympus. So now Davis will be not this foul. The next foul, Davis will have the bonus. Eggett. Fisher, he's got low on him. They get the switch now, Olympus does. But they're a little late to close out on Zach. Baseline looking inside for Wicker, yes! And that was actually Eggett, my apologies. It was Caden Eggett in front of the rim, able to finish through the contact, and a chance for Caden now for a three-point play. I'll tell you, the resolve of Davis tonight, trailed by 14 in the first half, they tied it up, got back to 10, they have clawed back, Again, and it's down to one. Great ball game here in the Northern Utah shootout. Davis, Olympus. Here's Lowe. Dowdell trying to establish himself in the block. Barnes. Gives it with Madsen. Madsen trying to drive. Hands it off to Low. Low right out of the rim. Davis wanted a travel in violation. Call doesn't come. Three point contest. Again, shot clocks have not been installed here at Davis. Morgan. Gives it to Wicker. Colby, been solid tonight for Davis. Looking to drive, Colby sends out Morgan from the corner. Davis has tied it up once again, coming back from double digit deficit. And how about the junior, Ike Morgan? Dowdell working in the paint. That's before the shot. It'll be two free throws regardless here, as that was the 10th team foul. Wicker a little slow to get up. Wicker picking up his fourth, and Coach Sims wanting a timeout here. Wicker's still a little ginger. He's going to find his way over to the huddle. Olympus heading to the line, chance to retake the lead when we come back. Welcome back to the home of the darts. Dutch Dowdell working his way to the line. Two free throws here to try to give the lead back to Olympus. Had a 
great first half. Only missed one shot from the floor. Second half, he's still been good. Just hasn't been six of seven, three from three from beyond the arc and two of two from the line as he hits one there. Big free throws and good to see Dutch kind of shake off a couple recent misses to go two for two and give the lead back here to Olympus. Here's Eggett. They go right inside. Caden. Caden Eggett just magically works his way to double digits. He doesn't look like the biggest kid, but man, he plays big. And he'll go right at you in the paint. Dutch trying to establish himself in the block. Atwater trying to defend. They'll come back out with Jordy. Worked around. Madsen thought about it. Instead low as there's one minute to go here in regulation. Here's Dowdell. Collapses down, sends it out. Baseline drive and a finish by Madsen. Boy, how about the recognition once again, the 6'5 senior. He has been adept tonight at driving to the rack. 35 seconds left here in regulation. Here's Atwater, works back up. And a timeout here. No foul. Called underneath. My apologies. And this will be on Dowdell. That'll be the eighth team foul. One and one here for Davis. A chance to tie it up as that's the fourth now on Dutch. And Coach Barnes, the Titans wanting a timeout. They'll get it here. Timeout. Olympus. It's a full. We'll take it with them. Be back. Davis to the line after this. Welcome back. Quick game reset for you. Olympus led by 14 in the first half. Davis came back to tie it up in the third. Then a 10-point lead for Olympus. Davis has come back to tie it up again. Olympus holding on to a two-point lead here thanks to Dutch Dowdell free throws and a chance for Colby Wicker in a one-and-one, one, the front end, to get Davis back to even here inside of 30 seconds to go at Davis High School. First of the one-and-one one for Wicker. And the senior there feeling confident here at the line, and he should be. He's had a heck of him of, of a ball game for himself today. And he's tied it up. Coach Barnes was drawing up a play. In the timeout, there's 15 seconds left. Our clock a little delayed. We'll count it down for you. Ten seconds to go. Here's Jordan Barnes. Clock down to six. Jordan, the drive, sealed. Jordan to the rim. Yes, scores it and a timeout. Well, the timeout was signaled for. It was seen late, and it will be granted. It's 66-62, or 66-64. Coach Sims was yelling for a timeout. It was hard to be heard. It was seen late. We'll see how much time they put on the clock. It's going to be when it's recognized. And it sounds like 2.7 if I can read lips. It's 2.5. 2.5 on the clock. Coach Sims gets the timeout. 66 64. That's a great interior seal by Olympus, allowing Jordan the drive. And the junior, Jordan Barnes, able to score the go ahead and potentially game winning bucket. What do you do here if you're Davis and Coach Sims? Zach Fisher had a great first half. He was three of five from beyond the arc. Colby Wicker has been strong tonight. He was two of three beyond the arc in the first half. I don't have updated stats. He's had at least another one or two here in the second half. Do you look for number two? Do you try to get the lob down for your 6'6 big in Zach Fisher? Zach will be under the Davis basket. 
as Davis will have to go length of the floor here. 2.5 on the clock. Eggett will have the inbound and we'll get Peter Watson, the 6'7 senior, on the floor for the first time tonight for Olympus to guard the inbound. Eggett to throw in. Has Wicker, has to pick it up deep in the backcourt. The heave for the win. Oh, just off the mark and Olympus beats Davis. 66-64. That's a long look, but a tough look and a good look for Colby Wicker. He almost hit it as these two staffs, very familiar with each other, come together at the end for handshake. A classic here at Davis High School. Olympus, the win, 66-64. Jordy Barnes, our player of the game, had the game winner. Dutch was electric in the first half. We'll split it between those two. And by the way, uh, look, everyone gets awards. It's Oprah version here of Rewind as Colby Wicker. Phenomenal tonight for Davis. But it's Olympus, 66-64, the victory over Davis. Want to thank you for joining us here for Davis High Basketball. A reminder, we'll have every Davis game for you all season long right here on KSL Sports. Dot com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.